Good morning. Okay, this is going to be for my Virgos. My Virgo cross watchers. Okay, if you're dealing with a Virgo, this is what they're up to. This deck is going to be your advice from the universe. I'm going to get like two. Okay. Lucy is snoring and her paw is in the video. <laughs> All right, what's going on with my Virgos? Advice from my Virgo cross watchers. Well, what do you want them to know? What do you want the cross watchers to know? Someone could not be awakened. <laughs> All right, you got recovery. So they're recovering from somebody or they, they want you to recover first. However, this goes down for you, vice versa. You know what I mean, jelly beans? And there's something better. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, you got don't stop. So you might be doing something right now that is not good for you. Um, or you're recovering from a situation where you know there's definitely something better. Because you got don't stop at the bottom of the deck and be assertive and, and take action. So I don't know what's going on with you, but that's that's big. Okay, so finish recovering is what the universe is saying. Healing whatever's going on and, and go towards something better. Because after all of that advice, it's success. Okay, so... And I'm going to clarify, all right, but um, something better would do with your time, however it works for you. So this is going to be my Virgo's energy. This is what's going on with their energy. I mean, it's, it's 8 in the morning. I cannot believe Lucy's snoring like this. As if she didn't get a good night's sleep or something. I mean, she's been sleeping since, I don't know, the last 12 hours. Jeez Louise. So. Alright, what's going on my Virgos? This could be vice versa, too, even though this is the universe, you know, giving messages about recovering and there's something better. You know, this could be my Virgos that are legitimately legitimately recovering and, and knowing that there's there's something better. They're just trying to get a, a grip with something. Okay. So, two fell out. So, destruction, kind of like the tower. Which makes sense, knowing there's something better, all right, recovering. And then you got friendship. This is usually a twin, a soulmate, a life partner. It's somebody extremely significant, okay? Um, and it looks like something went wrong. But you would be aware of that. So... Recovery, recovery. You know, you got the four cups. So yeah, this is, you know, boredom, solitude, wondering if an offer is going to come back around. They're resting. I don't know if they're really waiting, but they're, they're, they're resting. Four pence at the bottom of the deck, so you got two fours, but, um... They seem to be stable, or you, but wondering if there's, you know, something else is going to come around. Tell me about there's something better. Okay, so you got justice reversed, so there's definitely something going down in, in your life, okay? Or in your Virgo's life, that is is no good. It, it's ironic because I, I want to say like this is your best advice, but I really feel like this is linked to the Virgo. So again, it's it's vice versa. You guys are the cross watcher, right? So, but I, I will tell you, I just did a Capricorn, and it and it seemed like that was their best advice. But anywho, 
so it looks like my Virgos are in a situation that's not great, destructive, okay? Knowing that there's something better or this is going down with them. But I, I don't think that's their friendship. You know what I mean? Because if the universe is saying there's something better and there's something unjustified, there's something not right here, it's like the comic contracts up. It's a wrap with something in my Virgo's life, right? And so they are resting, right? It, it does look like they want to put an opportunity out to, to you guys, some some of my cross watchers, for sure. Let's find out about destruction. So maybe they feel like they ruined something. You got the high priestess. So they could be dealing with somebody extremely psychic. It could be you or it could be a secret. Could have been a secret relationship, a secret in general, a secret. Tell me about the high priestess. Let's find out. To me, it could have been a possible secret relationship or friendship here because that's a strong bond with someone. Page of Pens. So secretly, they, you know, my Virgos want a new stat. Okay. Um, so let's find out about this, this friendship. But at the bottom of the deck, you got the Eight of Coins. So they could already be committed to something. But with the Page of Pens here, this usually talks about a new stat with work. Oh, it could be health. But with the Eight of Pens at the bottom, it, it definitely looks like work, career, something. Tell me about friendship. But secretly, they, they want to they wanna new start with something. So it does look like my Virgos are holding a secret from you, someone else. You got the Knight of Wands. So I definitely feel like you were intimate with this person. There's no question. And it, if not, they, they really are attracted to to someone out there who's cross-watching for a Virgo, right? So it could have been in and out, in and out. Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck could have been an in and out situation. Um, could have been a possible night, one night stand or you had a couple nights, you caught feelings. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. It does look like they are going to deliver a message or you're going to deliver a message. Yeah, they want like a reconciliation type thing. Um, they're definitely in love, a year in love. We've got the Emperor here too and the Queen of Pens. So there definitely could, could have been a third party here. There could have been a marriage here. Um, could have been a Libra here. Regardless, what my Virgos want is a new start with someone. You could even be an Earth Angel. Earth angel, earth angel, won't you be mine? So, because to me that's not really speaking of temperance. This is, this is, I mean, it could be a little bit of patience, but but not too much. Only because pens usually tend to, to move a little slower, but I'm not really seeing that as patience, not with the women under here. To me this is my Virgos want to reconcile with someone for sure. So let me see if I can pull any additional information before I grab your best advice. And I just split the deck at the night, the um, page of pence and temperance, which ironically is the same two exact cards right there. And they're upright, just the way I'm holding the deck. So. It's 811. I don't know if that's significant to any of you guys. I just happened to look over and there it was. Alright, additional information. So I, I do feel like there is some type of secret. They do want a new start. They're wondering if, you know, some type of offer is going to go out because there's, there's definitely was an offer at one point. You got the Nine of Swords, okay, so something tricky too, especially with the cat being here, but this is, you know, anxiety, stressed out, my Virgos are a little stressed out um, about a situation, I don't feel like they quite have the clarity. You got the Knight of Pence and it's reversed, so they're not quite, they're not quite making moves yet, okay. Um, and then you got the High Priestess, but here's the deal. This high priestess, it's, it's written in the stars, it's, it's destiny. So it's destined for this situation, for this Virgo to be with one of my cross watchers. It's as clear as day. Okay. So it looks like my Virgos are recovering. They are probably trying to wrap up a marriage, a situation, 
you know, that they, they know there's something better. Obviously, there's somebody here. It looks like two women, two men. Okay. Just in situation. So let me get my cross watchers best advice for the situation. And again, it could go both ways, but this, this best advice is definitely intended for you. For those who are dealing with a Virgo right now. You got the wheel, okay? New beginnings, end of delays, a change in a different direction. That offers happiness, okay? So I don't know what you went down before, but you got the five of Michael. This There's a situation that doesn't serve you. Release the attachment of the outcome. So what's been taking so long? Because something's going your way in December, okay? Um, or both your ways, because it's divine. So obviously there's something better. With Justice and the Emperor that came out, to me, it, it definitely looks like some type of marriage, okay? But the wheel is here too, all right? That, Like I said, that's a karmic wrap for something, a new karmic contract to start. It's, it's written in the stars. Okay, new beginnings under delays because it's the rest of December. So there is a change coming for my little cross watchers. So for those who went through the five of swords with this particular person, you know, it is, you're going to be able to work something out. You got the three of cups here too. A reason to celebrate happy annou announcements. Okay. Then you got the six of wands too. So this definitely has potential for success, but we knew that. Okay. We do know that my Virgos need to take action, be assertive, not to stop. Okay. So it is it's really only a matter of time with the wheel being here. So I hope that helped my little cross watchers. Love you. Bye.